Hello, what's up everybody? How is it going? Welcome to a brand new tutorial series of learning Laravel from scratch. After the request of uh, some of my friends and students and followers, I've decided to start the new tutorial series uh, that will be covering the lessons of Laravel. We'll be starting from very scratch and move on to advanced topic day by day. And at the same time, I, I realize that I have not completed my code igniters tutorial series and I'll try to wrap up the series side by side so that the one who is interested in code igniter can continue with the topic at the same time the one who wants to skip code igniter and start the laravel can also move on with the uh, move on with their learning process uh, smoothly so I decided to start my laravel tutorial series from today and uh, before jumping to the laravel uh, we need to have some basic concept of things that we are about to study uh, and, the, and the most important thing that I want to discuss today is if you notice in our code igniter when we learned our code igniter we can see that whenever we grab the entries from the database or insert it into the uh, database or updated or deleted entries we generally provide the name of the table to the functions uh, responsible for crude operation for example in order to grab the entries from the database we use get right and we provide the name of the table into the get so that our function recognizes which table should we insert the entries into. Similarly, when we uh, inserted the entry, uh, we use the table name. While we updated the entry, we use the table name or by deleting the entry, we used the table names, right? So this approach of providing the table name into the, uh, uh, into the functions is known as active record. So code igniter is um, basically dealing with the ap active uh, record approach of MVC but Laravel uh, is not an active record approach of MVC rather it provides a new uh, approach which we call as ORM so it uses eloquent ORM uh, in order to deal with the database and ORM uh, actually means object relational mapping so by name we can understand that the object here it is referring to uh, the models so models uh, are mapped with each other so the name of the model here we don't actually use the name of the tables inside the model rather the model name itself uh, recognizes which table to use for example if we have a table called news then our model name would automatically be news and it will automatically understand that this model should be dealing with the news table through some internal operation so now let's say we have a table called companies then Laravel automatically recognizes that the model name should be company and if there is a model called company it means the table called companies so we'll be dealing about that later on so here in Laravel while we deal with the crude operations add edit insert delete we don't provide the names of the table rather we do such operation through uh, the model itself the name of the model itself and while we join two tables, two different tables like we did in Code Igniter, we provided the name of the tables and joined two different tables. But in Laravel, we map a model or with another model or we provide the relationship between model to model instead of table to table. So everything here in Laravel is done in ORM actually is done through models instead of table name. So this approach is known as ORM, Object Relational Mapping. So we map everything, the, we provide the relationship, we uh, we perform all the operations through the model name instead of table name. So this approach is known as ORM. So in Laravel, we'll be dealing with ORM instead of active records. This was the first thing that I wanted you to understand about Laravel. Secondly, you should know that Laravel itself is also an MVC um, uh, framework. So it also has concept of uh, model, views and controller. Okay. So in order to guide you with uh, Laravel, I have uh, I have a PC ready, a desktop with uh, installed Windows ready, uh, which I am connecting through remote access, so so that it becomes easy for you to understand. So I've just downloaded my AMPs and my Sublime text. It is just a fresh uh, PC without any software. So I just downloaded my AMPs so that we can start everything from very very basic. So I've downloaded my AMPs. I've downloaded my Sublime text. So if you have not downloaded the AMPs yet. So this is the latest version 3.8 which supports PHP version 7.1 and why I downloaded this is because if you see the Laravel documentation and go to the get started section 
like documentation and getting started you will see that the server requirement for the laravel it says 7.1.3 which is the latest version of the php so which is not actually provided by the older version of amps so if you have uh, amps which is lower version than this then maybe you can keep the backup of your files and download the latest version of amps or wamp whichever you prefer but uh, you just need to know that we need the latest version of php so if you have a php 7.1 in your amps no problem we can continue with that but if you don't i suggest you to keep backup of your files and database and download the brand new amps 3.8 version which supports php 7.1 so i have downloaded my amps 3.8 and also downloaded my sublime text sublime text now uh, in order to uh, install sublime i am amps i'll just click on this <clears throat> which might take some time but i wanted to uh, uh, i wanted to guide you through the installation process step by step so i don't want anybody to get confused in any of the step of uh, our new tutorial so i wanted to do it together so next i accept the agreement next and generally i don't uh, install my amps in c drive because whenever sometimes we might need to format our computer in that case we generally format our c drive and i don't want to lose the files that i have uh, inside my amps folder so i generally install my amps in some other drive for now i'm installing it in d drive so okay and click on next and amps next create desktop okay next and install i'll get back to you after the installation is complete oh maybe you can just uh, wait it, it might not take a long time till then we can work with sublime text installation which is here yes next and it can be installed in c drive uh, next next install and our sublime text is ready to go So let's try to browse sublime text sub and we have our sublime text 3 over here okay our amps is also almost done and whenever i click on launch launch amps it will possibly ask me to install these packages and if you have not installed it yet please click on yes don't click on no otherwise your some of the components of amps might not work so click on yes on whatever it asks for and after i've clicked on yes and allow access mysql is running agreed install yes allow access so just wait for a while And since this is a remote connection, it takes some time for time for installation. Okay. So let us uh, till then try to explore some of the Laravel. Okay. So until my installation is done, it's almost done let's see okay my setup is completed now this, before we begin with laravel i want you to confirm that your php version is 7.1 you can see currently just after the installation my php version is 5.6 so just click on this icon and click on change php version and it will provide me the option of php 7.1 click on that wait for a while and it will uh, uh, it will change your php version to php 7.1 and we'll be ready to work with laravel so it will restart the server 
yes now we are ready to work with laravel because we have the latest php version now let's go through documentation so before we start with laravel again uh, or maybe yes we can just uh, continue so it says the server requirement is php 7.1.3 which is must we have just done that and the open ssl php extensions should be uh, enabled all these extensions these are php extensions which you can find it uh, here you can just check your php installed extension if you go to amps and go here and click on this setting you will see if you just click on ssl oops uh, control z control f oops uh, file where do we have search my keyboard is mac and my remote access is windows so my commands are not working so if you just search for ssl you can see php open ssl is installed so most of these extensions are already installed in amps so you don't need to worry about uh, all those stuffs so just make sure these extensions are installed and hopefully they are already installed in your system if you are using windows and installing the latest uh, amps version these must be already installed along with php 7.1.3 so you don't need to worry much about these let's, let's go to installing laravel so laravel we don't usually download laravel like we downloaded in code igniter and just install it inside our www rather we use composer or okay so rather we use composer to install the laravel so what is a composer so composer actually is also known as uh, dependency management tool so if you see that a uh, project or a framework which we have available in market like laravel code igniter cake php yii and other stuffs they have lots of things that they use from third parties like maybe laravel uses um, let's say doctrine for orm and even cake php and why also use doctrine for uh, uh, for orm which is already built so there are lots of systems that are already built and they just reuse it which are not their own but they reuse it from other different places so they don't want to put all those stuffs inside the project rather what they do they uh, just ask us to update the dependencies their projects are dependent on for example laravel is dependent on doctrine framework for orm similarly there are lots of other extensions like xml extensions uh, or let's say components uh, even for let's say pdf uh, components and which they have used third-party libraries and third-party classes to make the system more easy and to reduce their works so once we type in some commands using composer all those components are grabbed from the re uh, grabbed in real time through internet to our project automatically so that uh, we don't have to work much so dependency management system has their own repository where they have lots and lots of uh, let's say um, libraries and components which we can grab through just by a simple command and uh, 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 let's say internet connection so if we have internet connection and we know composer commands we can grab those um, uh, dependencies in the real time similarly laravel also have their own repository which we can grab from let's say online through the composer so before we start with laravel let us install the composer and installing composer in windows is really really easy so you just click on this <coughs> and you can just click on download and it will guide you automatically so if you are using windows you can just download this uh, set of file and just follow the steps so i'm clicking i'm downloading the files it's completed if i click on this click on yes next you don't have to worry much about so this this part is important so you need to point out the php.exe file that you are using for this composer so since we are the composer is a php dependency um, for management for php so we need to uh, locate our php.exe which we are using since you just saw that we switched from php 5.6 to php 7.1 so now we, while we are pointing our php.exe we should point our p 
php.exe that is uh, associated with php 7.1 version so we need to be a little bit careful about this and amps has a better uh, way to manage all these things so the default version that we are using i'll just show you so i have my amps installed in, in, inside d so if i go to amps and go to uh, c you you have the folder separate for amps you can see that there's a separate folder for php 5.6 and a separate folder for php 7.1 and since for laravel we are using php 7.1 i should click on here and point this file okay so if i should double click this so now my composer understands that i'm using php 7.1 and my uh, execution file is php.exe inside php 7.1 so this is the php uh, that i'll be using because you will see in future we'll be using command lines in order to do lots of stuffs and this is asking choose the command line php you want to use while typing php commands in, in command prompt which php.exe that i want to use and i'm saying that i want to use the php.exe of php 7.1 click on next now I don't want to use anything just click on next and install it will take quite a while okay so next and finish so we have our composer installed just to verify if you have installed your composer properly open your command prompt just type on cmd click enter you will see this uh, window console uh, window just type composer and hit enter so if you see if it is taking some time and if you see something like this on the top composer this means you have successfully installed your composer okay you can just close it for a while now go back to the documentation of laravel if we click back back we were here so our composer is ready now we are ready to install our laravel uh, using composer so if you run this com command in your command prompt the laravel will be uh, ready for your system globally so you can learn Lar you can uh, create your laravel project anywhere in your computer you don't need to go to certain path and to create the project rather you can create or use the laravel command anywhere you want so just copy this and install laravel globally just by going to the command prompt okay this way so right click my as i told i'm using mac and my right we don't have right click on mac and the commands the touch commands of mac does not work on windows so i'll just <coughs> type in the command composer global require uh, laravel slash installer click enter now it will install laravel for me throughout uh, globally for my pc so it will take some time we can just wait for a while uh, while it uh, installs the laravel okay so this is not we are actually not uh, installing the laravel project but we are installing laravel's installer so once we have installed this laravel laravel's installer then we can create laravel projects using laravel command so you can see that this we are just installing the installer of laravel now after the installer of laravel is installed then we can use the laravel command in order to create new project so if you want to create new project you can just type in laravel new and your project name okay so this is the way how we work with laravel so we are currently installing the installer of laravel and after this is done we can now create a new projects using laravel new blog okay so let's see it's uh, started to run it might take some time till then maybe i can i'll just come back to you after this is completed welcome back guys uh, i've just finished my installation of laravel so if you have something like this uh, you are ready to go with uh, creating now new projects using laravel okay before we start uh, we can actually create laravel projects anywhere you want but uh, what i suggest is we can just go to our document root like wherever we have amps or wamps or zams go to the document root of that uh, server 
so I have amps installed in my D drive so I can just type in D colon I'll go to D drive I'll change my directory to amps and www this is my root directory for my <coughs> amp server so if you have WAMPs you can go to the root directory let us just uh, say that you you were currently in C users and well, suppose this is your root directory no, this is not your root directory but you have your amps installed inside C drive so in this case if you are not familiar too much with uh, C drive what you can do is cd space dot dot slash dot dot this will take you back to C drive so you are moving uh, inside or outside of Anwar first of all and you are going again outside of users dot dot means getting outside of Anwar slash dot dot means going outside of users so you'll reach to your C drive now you can change your drive to amps if your amps is installed inside C drive now you'll go to amps but I have my amps installed in D drive so it is saying that the path not fine so I'd like to go to D and then change my directory D amps dot, 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 dot. so this is my root folder for amps now here what I can do is I can just install my Laravel easily typing Laravel new and any project name let's say um, I'll just give a name called project for now so by doing this you will notice that if you hit enter it will start building the application for you and you will get a new folder called project inside www and it will generate all the files for you automatically so if you go inside D drive amps and www you will see that you have a folder called project being created for you and it is now in, in, in progress so let us not disturb this and after this is done you are now almost ready to go with the project uh, we will just wait for a while to see if it takes some time I'll get back to you after the Laravel new project has been done and just before moving forward I would just like to suggest you if you see that some of your installation is stuck more than 10 minutes 15 minutes uh, let's say uh, if your installation is stuck inside PSR HTTP message you can just press ctrl C okay and this this means uh, sometimes what happens is lot and the installation is already done but it just gets stuck in in middle so you don't have to worry you can just assume that the installation is already done so ctrl C will just escape that installation and move on forward so if just in case you have waited more than 10 minutes for some specific installation you can just uh, move forward by pressing ctrl C and if you if you have not faced any uh, uh, like let's say installation uh, blockage then in that case you can just move forward normally but if you are stuck in some way just press ctrl C but don't forget that the, that the blockage should not be more than 10 or 15 minutes if it is taking more than that you just press ctrl C to move forward so after the installation done just you can just uh, type in Laravel new and the name of your project and it will start installing so I'll get back to you once this is done welcome back guys uh, I've successfully installed my Laravel so if you got this message at the end application ready build something amazing you are ready to go with Laravel there are a few more things but before that let us just quickly check um, our documentation so once we have installed our Laravel uh, using this command uh, <coughs> now you can see that our project is ready inside uh, our root directory and this is an alternative uh, way to create a Laravel application if you find trouble in installing the Laravel using this command you can alternatively create the Laravel uh, uh, project using this command using the composer instead of Laravel command you can just use the composer command and provide your destination over here and the name of the project here and finally um, and this is actually the uh, this is the destination of your folder so finally you can uh, use PHP artisan serve in order to browse your uh, project wherever you installed it so if you suppose if you installed your uh, Laravel project somewhere else than your root directory of your server let us suppose you install your Laravel project inside in your desktop even in that case if you run this command uh, for example I have installed my Laravel inside uh, D amps www so if I just type php artisan serve it will start uh, okay 
Now, first of all, I need to go get inside that folder. Which, so my folder is CD project, right? So we created a project called a folder called project. So I need to get inside the project. Now I can type PHP ARTI as an artisan serve. So if I hit this, now it says that uh, my project is already in this URL 127.0.0.1 port 8000. So if I try that, so 127.0.0.1 port uh, 8000. You will see it's opening Malarable. You can also type localhost 8000 instead of 127. It is the port pointing localhost. So localhost 8000 stands for the same thing. <clears throat> so this is usually done whenever you have like let's say the project installed somewhere else uh, uh, than the root folder. So since I have already installed my folder I mean project inside my www so I don't I don't need to run this command rather I can just uh, say localhost slash project because it is inside my root directory right so you can see localhost slash project will, uh, uh, will load this file so if you get inside public it will now load the project so if you don't want to mess with public what you can do is you can just run php artisan serve and it will allow your project to open in this so what actually this is doing is is localhost port 8000 is actually pointing to our public directory uh, of the project so you don't have to type in public while typing localhost 8000 okay but if you don't want to uh, mess mess with the uh, let's say port number and domain name you can just type in localhost project and then go to the public directory and your project will open we'll discuss more about this later on because in future suppose when our site is live we don't want something like www.facebook.com slash public for user to browse our system rather we want uh, facebook.com to point directly to our public folder so we can deal about those in future uh, i'll just guide you how to remove public from the url but for now these are just two approaches the first approach is to get into the folder our folder was project and type in command php artisan serve and it will uh, uh, let you let you to browse the um, browse your project through localhost 8000 port or you can just go to localhost project which is your uh, project file project folder and get into the public folder and everything is ready for you okay so today we just uh, just learned how to inst install the laravel project and we also learned how to run a project after the successful installation so this were these were some few topics that we covered today one well, last thing i want to say to you before i leave today is even laravel has lots of dependencies that we need to pull from other vendors so in order to pull those dependency after you have successfully uh, created your project if you get stuck here you can just press ctrl c and it will take you to the directory again just type in composer update this will automatically grab all the dependencies of laravel and put it in in the folder called vendor so if you go here in d drive amps www and our project you will see a uh, folder called vendor so it has lots of vendors right now but uh, if, you, if you can just check to see if there's something more to download by just typing composer update and it will check to see if everything is up to date and if it is not it will grab all the dependencies from the repositories and it will make your system up to date with the third party vendors so this might take some time you can just uh, uh, type in the command and we are ready to end, uh, start the project and we can end the video here today for the basic setup of laravel from tomorrow we can just uh, discuss more on the different topics of laravel you can study the structure the structure of the folders structure of the project we can study where we where to create our models where our controllers we'll be learning some php artisan commands from tomorrow but for today i would like to stop here so we've covered uh, uh, installing the laravel installer installing the composer and dealing with php versions and we also learned some of the extension php extensions that is required for uh, laravel and as i told and those uh, extensions are by default in the amps 3.8 and we also learned how to serve the 
uh, our project using PHP RTNS serve that will point our public directory to our local host port 8000 or we can also go to local host project name slash public in order to browse our folder and finally we learned and how to grab the dependencies of the project using composer update and after that we'll just continue tomorrow on new topics on new things till then have a nice time goodbye Thank <laughs> you.